Hey everybody, Tracking Pat, and this basic video is going to be on how to blend two lines. I've got my five, my five inch block in here, and normally I would probably use a rectangle to cut all the way around and blend radii on the corners, but I'm going to show you how to just use an irregular profile with a Conrad to actually put a half inch radius on the corners as I go. Okay, so if you look here, I'm in the program mode, and I'm going to go to profile, and I'm going to start out by doing an irregular profile, okay? and it's asking me for a starting point. So I'm going to start at two inches from zero, and I'm going to start a little bit above the part. So I'm going to start 20 thousandths above the part, use my Z rapid of 50, and I'm going to go a quarter inch deep. Okay? Now the rest of the questions you should be used to, but in case you're not, it's asking tool offset, and the green box is saying is the tool on the left, the right, or the center of what I'm describing. I'm climb milling, so the tool is on the left, so I push two. I can do this all in one pass, and I really don't even need a finish cut, so I'm going to leave that out of there. Put in my RPM and put in my feed rates, okay? And tool number one, and that gives me a starting point. So now it's asking me if I'm going to do a straight line or a curved line. I'm going to push AGE mill because I'm doing a straight line, and it's going to take me to five inches and zero. You'll see that I have an okay light, but it's asking me if I want to put a Conrad or a connective radius at the end. I'm going to say I do 0.5 and then I'm going to page forward. So if I push the look button, I've got a straight line at a slight angle, okay? I'm going to do my next milling event, and this milling event is saying, is it tangent? It is not. So I can just hit the key and skip that and leave it at no. It's asking where I'm going to end. I'm going to end at five and minus five, and again, it's asking for that Conrad question. I'm going to put in my half inch radius there, okay? Page forward. Now you see the first part looks correct. Now I'm going to do one more milling event. It's not tangent. I'm going to go back to two inches, and this time I want to go to minus five inches and 20 thousandths. So minus 5.02. Okay, you see I've got an okay. If I push the look button, you'll see my three lines that are blended together with the radii, right? So I'm going to page forward and push end AGE. So that's telling me that so far I've got all this set up. My tools are already set up. I'm going to use the same tool that I did earlier. It's a one inch end mill, okay? So when I switch over here and I go to the run mode and I select start, it's asking me to push go. And as we should know by now, even though it's showing me tracking, if I push go, it's just going to tell me to remind me to put the tool in, turn the spindle on, okay? And then it still gives me the option to go to tracking. So let's make sure we're in the right place this time. We're gonna use tracking, okay? So now my RPM is up to speed and I'm gonna bring it over here to where I wanna start. And I'm gonna come down just outside of where I wanna be. And it looks good to me. I believe in myself, so I'm going to hit stop, CNC, and go. Now you see that it's coming in at a really slight angle, so it's actually going to start to make the radius right when it gets to that point. And now after it's rounded the second corner, it's going away at a slight angle here too, and then it's gonna go home and shut off. So I'll save us a little noise ahead of time and stop the spindle already, okay? So now you see how to blend those lines and how that works. The next video I show you is going to show you how to take those lines and do a mirror image. Hopefully this is exactly what you were looking for. Thank you.